Hello everyone and welcome to this week's outdoor living video from Soberosity. This video is part of the navigation series which is building off of my last video on an introduction to maps. So now that we know how to read our maps, let's work in some compass basics as well. I could probably spend an entire video just breaking down a compass so instead I've made this slide. So real quick, compasses have a magnetic needle that is suspended in liquid. That magnetic needle is being drawn towards what we call magnetic north. Now, we also have true north, which is a direct line from where you are standing to the very northernmost point of our globe. Now here's where it gets weird. Magnetic north is not a single point on the north pole like true north. It is actually something that moves. I know it's funky, but we have a way to deal with this. It's called magnetic declination, and it's going to give us the degrees between magnetic north, which is what our compass is reading, and true north. Don't worry if I lost you. It can be confusing, but we're a little short on time, so you'll have to take my word for it that there's a magnetic ball floating around the North Pole. This is the basis for understanding what you have to do next, which is adjusting your compass for your local magnetic declination. So you know where you're going to start on the map, and you know where you want to end up. First, we'll look on our map for our local magnetic declination. If it's more than two or three years old, I would recommend looking it up online because it may have changed. Then we need to adjust our compass for our declination. So if you have a great compass, you can make the adjustments and be done with it. But if you don't have an amazing compass, what you're gonna have to do is make the adjustments each time you switch from a map bearing to a compass or compass bearing to the map. So if your declination is east, it's gonna be positive. If it's west, it's gonna be negative. When you are reading a compass bearing and transferring it to a map, you need to add the declination. And when going from the map to the compass, you need to subtract it. Keep in mind if you're working with a positive or negative declination though. For this example, I want to be going to the summit of Owl's Head, and I'm going to be starting right here. So I put my compass on top of where I am, centered and spin my dial until the north marking is parallel to the grid lines on my map. Now, with the direction of travel arrow pointing towards Owl's Head, we can read our map bearing right here. So we are now switching from map bearing to a compass bearing, so we're gonna have to subtract our declination. That is the new bearing that we're gonna be using. Then spinning our entire body and compass as one, we spin until the magnetic needle is in this box. We call this red in the shed and it allows us to know that while the needle stays in that red box, we are heading towards our objective. So look through the viewfinder and locate an object in the distance that is at our bearing and head towards it. If there's no good object to shoot towards, then walk in the straightest possible line, and every time you hit something you can't get through, like a tree or bush, go left the first time, right the second time, so you're staying as centered as possible on that line. So these are all the basic skills for compass work. They just get more advanced, like in terms of triangulating your position given two known points. So when it's darkest in your life and the pressures of society are building on you, have confidence to go off the beaten path in the woods. Have confidence to go get lost in nature and submerge yourself in the beauty around you. So let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Let me know if this video helped you out. And as always, be safe in the woods.